Hi, I'm Juan Loeza, and today I'm excited to introduce Oracle Globally Distributed Autonomous Database. Before we get to the announcements, I want to explain why distributed databases are important to businesses around the world and to outline Oracle's strategy for distributed databases. So let's get started. First of all, what is a distributed database? It's simply a database that stores data across multiple physical locations instead of one. Each location stores a subset of the data, and the physical distribution of data is hidden from applications. The Oracle database became a distributed database back in 2017 when native database sharding was released. Today, it powers many critical distributed applications around the world. There are two main use cases for distributed databases. One is ultimate scalability and survivability. In this use case, data is distributed and replicated across databases for a hyperscale and fault tolerant database. The second use case is to help implement data sovereignty. In this case, data is stored in specific geographic locations to help implement location requirements. An Oracle globally distributed database is a single logical database. Data is physically distributed across multiple databases, which are called shards. Data in each shard is replicated for survivability. All the shards can process application requests, making it an active, active architecture. And data can be redistributed across shards, data centers, and regions while the database is running. The distribution of data is hidden from applications. Application requests that only need data from a single shard are transparently sent directly to that shard. Requests that need data from multiple shards are automatically split into multiple requests that are sent to the appropriate shards and committed atomically. Queries can be paralyzed both within and across shards to implement massively parallel analytics. This is next generation big data done right. So what's the difference between a scale out cluster database and a distributed database? Both of these architectures scale out database processing across multiple computers. Cluster databases like Oracle Rack on Exadata run a single physical database. They use highly optimized protocols across super fast RDMA networks with microsecond latencies. In a cluster database like Exadata, any data can be directly accessed from any server and also frequently accessed data is cached locally to reduce latency and increase throughput. Cluster databases are architected for full functionality, highest performance, lowest latency, and application transparent failover and maintenance. In contrast, distributed databases distribute data across multiple physical databases. This allows data to be placed in multiple geographic locations. A big benefit is that it avoids single database scalability and survivability issues since databases are independent of each other. The trade-off for running on multiple databases is that it works best when most data access is local to a shard. Requests that access data across shards will have higher latency and lower throughput than in a tightly coupled cluster. Oracle implements both distributed and clustered architectures, and we allow customers to choose which one they use based on their requirements. Customers can also combine both of them to achieve the best of both worlds. In contrast, competitors' distributed databases generally have many functional limitations. They scale poorly when data access is not localized. They have high latency due to distributed data access and distributed commits. And they can't fail over applications without aborting active connections and transactions. Now let's look at two customer examples. Data localization is becoming mandatory in India for payment data. A Reserve Bank of India 2018 Storage of Systems Data Directive states that payment data must reside in India if both the payer 
and the payee are Indian entities. This is a showstopper for global financial services companies that store data for all countries in a single database. A key observation is that this requires data to be stored in India, but data can be accessed from outside India. One of the largest US banks had to re-architect their payment database to satisfy this directive. Initially, they stored all worldwide payment data in the US on an Exadata system. The application and database tiers were replicated across regions inside the US for disaster recovery. Oracle Globally Distributed Database helped the bank comply with the India Directive. New shards were created in India to hold Indian data. And this new database architecture required minimal application changes. The highly complex application tier architecture did not need to be redundantly deployed in India. One thing I can guarantee is that data regulations will only increase. In fact, the tidal wave of data regulations is coming as more countries roll out their own regulations and more industries become regulated. Oracle Globally Distributed Database has features that can help you surf this tidal wave instead of being drowned by it. Now let's look at a second example. BlueKai is a leading data platform for digital marketing campaigns. It's accessed in real time by hundreds of millions of consumers as they surf the internet. BlueKai is a hyperscale workload on a multi-petabyte database that requires near instant response time. It runs 1 million transactions per second, 30 billion API calls per day, and achieves 1.6 millisecond API response time. BlueKai now runs on Oracle Globally Distributed Database. It runs on 104 commodity servers, 5,400 CPU cores, and 77 terabytes of data. It was migrated from a combination of Aerospike, Cassandra, and CiliaDB. The simplicity of this new architecture plus the power of SQL enables BlueKai to innovate many times faster than before. BlueKai runs on a two and a half petabyte distributed database. This database is distributed across three data centers for scalability and survivability. The Oracle Globally Distributed Database is architecturally far ahead of others. Oracle Rack was architected from day one to deliver full SQL in a scale-out cluster. Oracle simply extended this mature parallel clustered SQL engine to also support distributed scale-out. In contrast, other distributed databases run on top of no SQL engines. They're slowly adding SQL on top, which is decades of work. One of the vendors started with a non-scale-out SQL layer and is slowly rewriting it to support distributed scale-out. Using a NoSQL engine allowed them to get to market quickly, but now they're struggling with performance issues since NoSQL engines are not designed for SQL workloads. And they're especially bad for reporting and analytics. Oracle has more data distribution methods than other distributed databases. And data distribution methods are critical for distributed databases. Oracle supports value-based data distribution. This distributes data by value, for example, by country or by product. It also lets you distribute data by a range of values, for example, a range of phone numbers. In addition, Oracle supports system-managed data distribution. This uses consistent hash to evenly distribute data across shards for scalability and parallelism. For example, to distribute data by customer ID, device ID, or action ID. Consistent hash enables online addition of shards with minimal data movement. Oracle supports composite data distribution. This is a form of two-level sharding where data is first distributed by value, such as country, or by range, like phone number, and then data is also distributed evenly across data centers using consistent hashing, for example, by customer ID. In addition, Oracle supports user-defined data distribution. This is used when data requires special handling, such as skewed data. For example, you can store Taylor Swift and Beatles data in their own shards and lump smaller artist data together in a separate shard. Oracle also supports duplicated data distribution. 
In this distribution method, smallish tables that are read mostly are duplicated across shards and kept completely consistent. This is used to avoid cross shard queries and cross shard referential integrity checking. Further, Oracle supports partition data distribution within each shard, so inside of each shard. For example, data in any shard can be further partitioned by data value, such as date range, and then partitioned again by another value, such as by hash. This enables much faster queries and joins. Okay. In addition to more data distribution methods, Oracle also supports more replication methods than other distributed databases. And replication methods are critical for distributed databases. Oracle replication is designed for real-world networks. Real-world distributed networks are flaky. They have long latencies, intermittent slowdowns, and unpredictable stalls that can wreak havoc on the application response time and availability. Oracle Distributed Database can be configured to satisfy the needs of each application. We support synchronous replication, asynchronous replication, adaptive synchronous replication, and a combination of local synchronous and remote asynchronous replication, both with and without a local replica of the database. Oracle replication can meet any scaling or survivability need. Redo replication using Active Data Guard provides the fastest performance, the most complete SQL functionality, readable replicas, and the simplest operation. SQL replication using Golden Gate provides the fastest failover and fully writable replicas, including conflict avoidance and resolution. In addition to more replication methods, Oracle also has more shard deployment architectures than other distributed databases. And the shard deployment architecture is critical for distributed databases. Oracle can deploy shards on independent servers. This is a simple and low-cost deployment option that is very popular. In this option, shards can run on standalone commodity databases, com commodity database servers like we showed with BlueKai. Oracle can also deploy shards on fault-tolerant scalable clusters. Oracle can uniquely scale performance within a shard or region using an ultra-fast Exadata scale-out cluster. This enables data to be accessed within the shard or region without slow cross-shard access and coordination. And failure maintenance of servers or databases in a cluster don't require disruptive application failover to a replica. So this combines distributed plus clustered to make the combination better than either one standalone. Oracle can also deploy shards on-prem, in the cloud, and even across multiple clouds. You can choose the deployment option independently for each shard or country. This helps you optimize for the scaling needs and cloud availability of each country. Oracle can also deploy shards inside a fault-tolerant cluster. This deployment architecture is useful when customers want the highest transparency and simplicity and don't need to distribute data or don't need ultimate scale-up. This uses sharding to route SQL to specific nodes of a cluster to increase access locality and avoid hotspots. Cross-shard SQL within a cluster is super fast, unlike distributed shards. This is another case where clustered plus distributed are better together. They provide a better solution. Oracle Globally Distributed Database is designed for modern applications. Modern apps use multiple data technologies to enrich the experiences for users and provide more value to enterprises. One approach to delivering rich modern apps is to use a specialized database for each application need. So use a specialized database for each type of data, each type of analytics, and each workload type. This specialized database approach makes distributing data nearly impossible. That's because each database has different features to help achieve data distribution. They have different data APIs, different capabilities, and unique limitations. 
it becomes the job of application developers and IT to somehow combine these features across all these databases to implement a distributed database architecture. In contrast, Oracle's converged database architecture simplifies distributed data. It provides a complete and simple support for all data types, workloads, and development styles in one database. It provides complete and simple consistency, scalability, and availability across all these data types and workloads. You can think of it as the smartphone of data. New data technologies are features, not separate products. So to use a new data type or workload, you can simply add a SQL statement instead of having to add a database. This greatly helps achieve a distributed architecture for all types of data and workloads. Today, I want to announce Oracle Globally Distributed Autonomous Database, and it is available today. This adds autonomous management to eliminate the operational complexity of distributed databases and reduce costs. We start with the globally distributed database that's very mature that we've had for many years, and we add autonomous database capabilities to it to create the globally distributed autonomous database. It's the simplest, most functional, and most mission critical cloud native distributed database service in the world. Its serverless elastic auto scale architecture dramatically lowers costs. In addition, it brings natural language query to globally distributed databases. Autonomous database Select AI can translate natural language questions into SQL using an AI large language model. The SQL query is then automatically routed to the appropriate country or shard by the globally distributed database. For example, if a user asks a question like how many total streams for each Tom Cruise movie were viewed in India this month, the LLM generates the SQL statement that specifies India, and the globally distributed database will automatically route that query to India. Now I want to tell you about a few features that are coming soon in Oracle Database 23C. First, rack-based replication for extreme survivability is coming soon. It's a new replication method that uses the popular Raft quorum-based replication protocol to provide automatic failover to a replica in under three seconds. It implements an active-active symmetric configuration where each shard accepts writes and reads for a subset of the data. It delivers zero data loss using high-performance synchronous replication across shards. Also coming is AI Vector Search and RAG on globally distributed database 23C. Here, Oracle Distributed Database will add hyperscale and data sovereignty features to Oracle Database 23C AI Vector Search and to Retrieval Augmented Generation. Customers will be able to combine similarity search using AI vectors with search on business data about customers and products in a single distributed query. Now let's summarize the key takeaways from today's presentation. Oracle Globally Distributed Database is the most fully featured distributed database. It provides more data distribution, replication, and deployment methods than other databases. Its converged architecture simplifies data distribution for apps that use multiple data types and workloads. Raft-based replication will provide ultra-fast quorum-based failover. And it will also support leading-edge AI such as vector search. The autonomous capabilities remove complexity and reduce costs. It provides all the benefits of a distributed database without any of the compromises, so why settle for less? For more information, please go to oracle.com slash database slash distributed database. Thanks for joining me today.